Hello, 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 and welcome back to Risk of Rain. And this is the last episode at Dick's Story. The thing that normally is, I can see, but it's hidden in the recording. It's actually on the recording, so I'm recording without that for FPS kind of counter thing. I have that so I kind of know that it's constantly recording. I don't have to like look in the other screen. But anyway, back to the bandit. Last time we played through and I explained the bandit, and now we're going to play on Drizzle and potentially to the end or at least see if we can let's just... Um, yeah let's just move that out of the way get down here get this i probably should have checked a bit further left because it's probably going to end up being there now ah here's i don't i think this is where the artifact is but you can't get there unless you have a jetpack Because we tried that before or if you're the miner which is why i kind of want to learn to play the miner but i'm not going to play it with you on recording until i've just got a bit further okay that's not going to help me get that all right here we go I haven't actually gone through like the boss level and the final level and how that all works as of yet, so maybe this will be the run. The video was definitely too long last time, so we'll split up. These fire guys are probably my enemy. Because their flame, like, it scales and does so much more damage later on in the game. They can, like, one-shot you sometimes. Depending on if you're playing, like, a weaker class. Oh, nice. Especially for this hero. He's got super quick attack speed. Damage heals you. Yes, please. Right. Ah. Cool, cool, cool. Kill us, kill them. We're playing in Drizzle, so we don't have even a chance of getting monster logs. I mean, don't think there's a way you can get this without. No, it doesn't look like it. Let's try it once more. No, you definitely bounce off that, and then you need to. Because if you had the miner, of course, you could, like, get there. Um, and I don't think you can, like, you can't, like, jump up. Uh, ah, ah, there we go. But then we can't get up there. Which sucks. Okay, so you definitely need the miner for that, and you could easily do that if you had the miner. I'm going to be a little cheap here and, uh, get him. I thought we should have been able to get that there. Now there might be something for me to open over here, seeing as I've got a little bit of money. No, we got it, didn't we? That's right. Because the bandit can be really mobile if you get him right. So you can, like, kill one and then use your speed boost again. Our enemy's right up there. And in a while, I'm just going to have to waste a little bit extra time. There might be a, there's some chests up there. There's two chests. Each of them big for chests, or so reasonable. Anyway, so what I'm going to do... So I think the best way to climb up here... Yeah, it looks like it. There's also like two jetpack-like items. There's a jetpack that we um, saw, and there's one that's that actually makes you hover. Okay, so I'm going to go I can get that robot. Oh nice, that's different. This is definitely a really good one. We've got a few healing items and we've got uh, um, AOE kind of fire for others. It's, it's not going to be worth getting that. Oh, apparently we have to go this way. That sucks. That's annoying. But there we go. Okay, down here. Ah. Oh. What I do have 
There's enough gold for this. Uh, even better, because next level... That was definitely worth the time, because next level the enemies will drop extra gold and I'll be able to open all the chests earlier and then get loads of XP when I go to the next level. So that's going to be really nice. And luckily we've started actually in the right hand side of the map, which is always good. Well, not always, I guess. If you spawn right next to the teleporter, that's probably the best. Well, there is a cask up there, you know, money, but uh, it's not really worth getting so much. Okay, so there's some health regen and a kind of retaliation shield thing. Up there, take that container. That's very nice, tasty for me. Cool. Okay, right. I don't know what this is. I saw this before. You can't go down. I don't know if you if you can if I chuck the grenade at that. Oh. That worked. I think I'm gonna need the speed boost to get across there. What I'm gonna need is to not die. Let's try that once more. So that was interesting. I saw that before and I didn't want to like play with it in case that was one of these secret areas. No, maybe I just can't do that. Let's actually activate that teleporter first before I try and do all this. As much as it will make it harder, it will actually mean that we move on to the next level a little bit quicker. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of speed boosting. Yes. I mean, to be fair, it might be worth killing this to see what item we get. Oh, three, two, one. Oh god, this sucks. Run off the edge! Doom you run away! Oh god, this guy teleports. This is not a good place to be right now. However, I don't even have any gold. There are a lot of them down there. This is where I wish I was the acrid. Wow, a lot of them are spawning. So we don't normally get this many even on like hard difficulty. Okay, what I did notice however is that a lot of them are on low health. But unfortunately we didn't actually hit the right one. Okay, we're now on the remaining enemy stage, so that's always fun. Especially as one of them is a boss, and there's all these guys here. Right, we're gonna get the extra health regen, because at this point we really do need it. Okay, up here. Dodge, 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 throw that at them. That's that when they die, sometimes explode in action there. Okay. Now what I'm actually going to do, because I know that I'm going to end up being back down here, is we're going to go up and try and do that again. Because if I get the artifact, then I'll consider this a win. Uh, 
advantage me. Do I want to risk this jump? Yes. Do I want to risk this jump? Yes. Do I want to risk this jump? Yes. And this one. This one. A little bit harder. This. Hey, here we go. Here is the artifact. Bam. Artifact unlocked. The artifact of spite. Cool. And there's even some items up here. We will get the uh, monster too. Because after we kill something, we heal, and after we do damage, we heal. Oh, and there's a healing egg up there. And seeing as we are pretty much here anyway, this is pretty much as was an unlocking run now because of that. We will get the healing egg because it's pretty good. So when we don't need to, since we can get out of combat a lot. And that one we don't need, it's not the one we have to stand still for. So it's really good for this character, I feel. Okay, let's get down and kill these guys. We've got... We've got a reasonable amount of regen. We are at ten. We are at ten minutes, which is about the reasonable time. Oh, we've got extra knockback. Let's not now die. Okay, so we've got the artifact of spite, but we didn't um, actually manage to complete it. So apparently, the artifact of spite did not unlock because we're not on hard mode, maybe. Possibly. That sucks. Just, um, yeah, we want to go back to the main menu. So we didn't unlock... Oh, we, it's unlocked now. There we go. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Tomorrow we'll continue on with the bandit and we'll play with the new spite artifact. Thank you very much for watching this episode and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.